Good evening, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. This is Richard again back for your third and final video blog of the night for Monday, December 8th, 2014, around 8.13 p.m. in Berwick, Massachusetts. It's a, it's a little chilly out, but it's not as brutally cold as it was today. And tonight we might have some wintry mix in the Malamac Valley area. We're under winter weather advisory. And we could get a cold into an inch of snow and maybe on top of that a trace of ice. And then everything's going to change over to plain old rain. And it's going to be very poor tomorrow with the rain and the wind. Could have some power outages. And this luck of weather is going to be damp for the rest of the week. Maybe another one of these nor'easters on Thursday or Friday. Some news to report. Sad news on the world of entertainment. Um, actor... Ken Weatherwax, known for as well as Pubs, Pugsley on the classic TV sitcom The Addams Family, passed away at the age of 59. Ken was typecast after The Adam Family ended. That's sad when an uh, act is typecast for, like, roles for Hollywood because it doesn't, doesn't like, make the actor become more well-rounded, maybe... Uh, at Academy Award winner and stuff like that, but some producer think that you, if the person's in a type of role, they only think of them as that type of role. Sad for his family, prayers to his family in this time of need. And that's about it on the news. My third and final video blog su subject of the night is about my personality profile. My personality profile tonight is about the number one play-by-play -play announcer for Fox Sports' college football coverage, Gus Johnson. Gus Johnson's been a very popular sports announcer for close to 20 years. He has some one-liners that are truly amazing. I'll tell you that about them later on in this blog. Gus, Gus was born and he grew up in Detroit, Michigan. He was a star athlete in his high school. He went to the University of Detroit Ju Ju Judas High School and Academy. He majored playing football, basketball, and baseball during his time in high school. He was a quarterback for his high school football team off star forward for his basketball team and a catcher first baseman for his baseball team. He was the captain of the football team in senior year in high school and also he was an MVP of his high school base basketball team when he was in a senior as well. Gus just Gus was a good athlete. He graduated from high school in 1985. Then he went to college at Howard University. He played on the baseball team for Howard University and he graduated in 1990 in a major in political science. Then he went to the world of broadcasting. He had several local television jobs as a sportscaster in Waco, Texas, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. He was in like Huntsville, Alabama, then he became a weekend sports announce uh, caster for the Fox affiliate in Washington, D.C., Fox 5, WTTG, for about a couple of years. He started, He also worked for ESPN for four years. He hosted a show called, called um, Black College Sports Today, and he also did some play-by-play -play announcing for college hockey and the Big East for ESPN and also the CFL. And also, for many years, Gus Johnson worked for MSG Networks from about 16 years from 1994 to 2010. He hosted MSG Sports Desk. He was the radio host of Yankees games. He did some Knicks games basketball games and a variety of other sports for the MSG Network part or full-time during those 16 years. And in 1996, Gus Johnson signed with CBS Sports and for the next 15 years he was with the with the I Network that CBS for doing a various amount of roles for calling boxing events for CBS and Showtime, also some mixed martial arts. He hosted the CBS Sports Show for a couple of years. 
He did college football. He did the NFL, and he and he worked on the NCAA basketball tournament for many years, and that's what his role was. He had said some some great one-liners for the basketball games, like for like these quotes. Oh my goodness! Rise and fall. Home comes from the parking lot, and the runner. Bam! Hot sauce, cold blooded. Wham! Wham! Game! Ha ha ha! And others. Gus Johnson had a very enthusiastic voice and stuff like that. Was real passionate to play by play stuff. He's he's very enthusiastic and stuff. He wasn't a top CBS announcer, but he was kind of a middle of a, of the road announcer for CBS and stuff. Many people really wanted to see him replace Jim Nance as the like the lead play by play announcer for the NCAA tournament, like men's final four and the and the NCAA championship game, but CBS would never allow that to happen because Jim Nance is the like the top announcer at CBS and Gus Johnson like left after the two thousand eleven NCAA tournament from from CBS because his contract expired. There was not too much of a mutual departing. Gus wanted a bigger role in CBS Sports for his next contract with CBS, but they didn't give it to him, and he left there. And in, and in the summer of 2011, Gus Johnson signed with Fox Sports to become their number one play-by-play -play announcer for college football. And also, he's done some work for, for basketball for the Fox Sports 1 and he's appeared on the Big Ten Network calling college basketball as well. Gus, Gus was did some soccer play-by-play -play for Fox Sports as well. He was scheduled to do the Women's World Cup in 2015 but F um, Gus stepped down as Fox's soccer announcer this past September because he said that he didn't have the time in preparation because he had the college f basketball and football and he didn't have time to pre prepare for soccer, which, you know, kind of disappointed because, uh, because Gus could have been a great soccer announcer and stuff like that. And sometimes he does um, NFL games, Gus J Johnson does, and many people really want to see Gus Johnson get a bigger role on Fox Sports, maybe become a top play-by-play -play announcer for the NFL and stuff. But as long as Joe Buck is at Fox, you're not going to see Gus Johnson get, get a top play-by-play -play role for NFL or Major League Baseball f on Fox because that's not the way it is. But, you know, Gus Johnson's probably a, you know, second-tier announcer. And it's and college football suits his role and stuff like that. His one-liners are pretty amazing. They're probably comedic and stuff like that. I think Gus Johnson could would be maybe he some of these one-liners could mean he could be one of these days a professional wrestling announcer. That would be something. And that's about it on that. I'll be back tomorrow, Facebook friends and YouTube followers, with three more video blogs. First video blog tomorrow will be about top 10 pitches in Devil Ray slash Ray's history. And the second one's going to be continuation of the 2015 predictions. This, this prediction will be what's going to happen in the world of television. And the third and final failure blog of the night will be about Hockey Hall of Fame defenseman Ray Bork. See you later, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. Bye now.